Like it's two for one at this point. Holy smokes. Neither one of my vehicles has got air conditioning. Like when you stop moving, you know? And I just I didn't realize I was that broke. I thought I was doing good. I thought I was getting ahead. And then I and then, then my truck my nice truck broke down. And then I, I've had to I've had to take a step back and realize, oh no, you still broke. You still look broke. You very much drive vehicles that are broke. I, you know what? I'm about tired of people lying to me about this American dream. Because I promise you, I've been going to work. I've been saving forever. Forever. I just, I ain't feeling the American dream today. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. This is part two. I'm going to get my truck towed to another shop. I'm waiting on the uh, truck and trailer to get here. And load this bad boy up one more time. Let's hope and pray that it's not anything major, you know, like like a head gasket. Let's let's hope it's not that. I'm I'm really hoping it's something simple like a water pump, you know. Maybe it's just wore out, you know. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's um, it's a little bit. It's a little bit warm, so anyhow, I just tore the little plastic flap off the front part of my my bumper here um, and threw it in the back because it was dragging. I think that's why my truck was making a noise when I turned to the left. I think that was plastic rubbing. I told my boyfriend, I said, we are going to get something to eat when we get done loading this truck because I'm hungry. I'm starving. I need some air conditioner air conditioning air conditioning I need it conditioned good so <clears throat> crazy idea while we're waiting um, I, I've had this big dream you know not the American dream but I've had a big dream of riding my horse for a long distance and what if I get my horse trailer it's, it's gonna happen it's, it's gonna happen Lord willing I don't know why the Lord has not, it's almost like the Lord doesn't want me to have this horse trailer. So it's just like I, I'm having all these little, little uh, obstacles to get through. And I just, I don't know. But the good Lord, he's got good plans for me. Maybe I'm not mature enough to have a horse trailer. I have no idea. Or maybe the one I was thinking about getting is, maybe that's, maybe that's not good enough. I, I don't know. Um, that, you know. I mean, there's there's all kinds of things, I'm sure. but And I just, I don't understand it. But I declare every time, and I told, I told my sister, I said, if I, and my mama, I said, had I not touched my horse trailer money, like moved it so that I could, you know, from one account to the other, so that I could withdraw it, you know, and, and get cash. Had I not touched it, I think my truck would have ran better. I think it wouldn't have had a problem at all. But you, you let me try to save up some money for a horse trailer. Something always brings. And it's so frustrating because I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I've been at this over 20 years. Come on. I um, I was getting a little worked up, a little stressed out about it off camera. And uh, I was like, you know what? Let me stop. Let me stop. Because this, you know what? This isn't going to be the first breakdown or I'm sorry, the last breakdown. There's going to be more. There's going to be more. And it's going to be all right. You know, um, I mean, trucks break down. It don't matter how well you maintain them, trucks break down. So I've driven some really nice new semis and they have some sort of glitch and, you know, it won't go in gear or something or it won't crank or just, you, just stupid stuff, you know. So hopefully, hopefully this repair bill isn't too bad. Um... I've got money, so um, I think I have enough anyways, and I'm not bragging, I'm just, you know, I'm hoping this ain't too bad of a setback, because, um, 
I was about to go pull the trigger on getting a horse trailer, and then, then my truck broke. And I was like, doggone it. I was joking, too, with Mom, and I was like, you know, I said, I think uh, I think Shelby might be bad luck. I said, that puppy, I said, she, um, bless her heart, she tried to die twice on the side of the road when we was broke down waiting on a, a tow. And I'm joking about that, by the way. But she was, like, rolling on her back, and I was pouring a little bit of the water that we had in water bottles on her belly, and she was like, oh. You can almost see her eyes like roll in the back of her head, you know. I mean, we found shade and stuff, but yeah, it was, it was, it was intense. It was intense. Um, you know, I mean, I know I was born in the South, raised in the South, lived in the South pretty much all my life, and I still ain't used to it. So <laughs> it's the humidity. I um, I can handle the heat. I've been out in the desert and it's like 114 degrees. And all kidding aside, it was over a hundred, well over a hundred. And um, I think the brightness of the sunshine is what what got me, because I mean, you best have some sunglasses. I don't know how they did the Pony Express back in the day. They had to have some really large cowboy hats or lids or whatever, because um, that that I I'd, I'd have to walk around blindfolded or something. But anyways, um, I was I was sitting there today back to, you know, talking about a big dream. Um, and I don't necessarily, maybe I shouldn't call it a dream, but it was, it, it, I've thought about this once before, but I was just like, you know, if I can't do this long distance ride, maybe I can do something like, you know, riding on the, po the old Pony Express Trail. Um, and it crosses several different states. And I think it's like seven or eight states that have kind of kept the, the, um, uh, the, 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 yeah, I lost my words. Um, I don't know the right word to use here, but anyway, it, they, they basically over time have kind of preserved that part of our American history, and so they have people come out every year. Um, I think it's in the month of June, and for like the you know 10 days, they cross like over 1900 miles, and uh, it looks like it's fairly simple to sign up. Um, I don't know, you know. From what I can tell, I mean, you basically get in contact with the, the state that you're wanting to uh, ride through and um, and work out, you know, I guess which leg of the trip you're going to ride. And anyways, I was just like, you know what? I said, I could probably do something like that. I said, because I could do that in like two weeks or something, you know, and then come back home um, or two and a half weeks. Less, yeah, something like that. Anyways, because it's like, I think the nearest part of it where it starts in Missouri is like 1,500 miles or something from me. So, anyways, I was just like, okay. I said, that's, that's not too terribly far. I said, I could probably pull something like that off if I was to do that. So, um... But I don't know, it, that's, you know, I'm sitting here, I, I had to think about that, because I was like, I was, I'm going to be honest with you, I was a little bit depressed and my truck's broke. Yeah, and um, I was like, you can't do that to me, don't do it. But yeah, I thought, you know, because I honestly don't know how, the way my life is and the stuff that my mom and I have got going on, I honestly don't know how I'm going to have time to, to do like a coast to coast horseback ride, so... I don't know, maybe I'll win the lottery and I'll go ride then. I don't know. I don't know. So, but yeah. Well, I will check back in with you guys when the truck gets here um, in the trailer and we'll get it loaded up and then we'll see unloading process and then, um, yeah. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll get the verdict sometime after the 4th because this is the week of the 4th. And, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling very patriotic this year. <laughs> I think last year I was teaching my sister that it would be okay to take, uh, Roman candles and shoot them at each other. My hair caught on fire. <laughs> but, um, I survived. So, anywho, it makes your hair strong. It makes it smell a little smoky for a couple of weeks, you know? I mean, even after you wash them, it kind of burned my scalp a little bit. But, you know, it's all, it's all good. I made it through. I think my hair came back stronger. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, we're going to go and, and get this truck loaded up. Which smell up? Oh, boy, it's hot. Yay! Let's 
straight. Back up. You got a four? No. You got, did you put it in neutral? I got it in reverse now. I uh, put put it in neutral? Yeah. And that you got it in four? Yeah, four low. Um back up just a little bit. Put it in drive. Ease, ease forward. Pull up some and try and get it lower. I love this man.
so I just got my truck we are currently gonna let it idle here and I think I'm gonna drive it down the road a little ways test it out we ended up getting a new thermostat a new radiator and a new fan so let me show you guys Everything seems to be checking out pretty good. So I think that's it for this week. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. And as always, I was fully out. I can't drive. I can't drive. Oh boy, I hit the curb. I hit the curb with my back tire. It's embarrassing. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Mwah! Bye!